and girls. We've missed being with you for the last couple of months. We're so happy to be back and to be able to share with you some more Sabbath School programs. I'm Miss Rhonda. Here's Roman, my grandson, who's going to be helping us today. He's dressed like little boy Jesus. Could you guess that? And our program this time is about happy boy Jesus. We want you to come and enjoy it with us. Now, if you tell your moms and dads, in the description below, there will be a link. And in that link, you can find all of the words to all the songs that we're singing with all of our props listed as well. So if you have your mom and dad, click on that link. It will take you to our church website and you can print this off for yourself. So you'll have all the words and you'll have all the props that you need so that you can do this program with us at home. It'll be so much more fun. I'm so happy you're here with us, and we're gonna get ready now to start our Sabbath School. Well, it's time for Sabbath School to begin, and if you listen carefully, you might hear the, the clock tick-tocking and telling it's time for Sabbath School. So let's get our sticks and let's make the clock sound together. Are you ready? Be quiet and listen to the clock. Be quiet and listen to the sounds of clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's time to ring our Sabbath bells. Are you ready to ring your Sabbath bell with us this morning and welcome the Sabbath day? <laughs> doors of the church and see who has come. And each one of you has come to Sabbath school too, and I'm so glad you're here with us. Before we do anything else, boys and girls, we want to invite Jesus to come and be here with us, don't we? So when we pray, we bend our knees, Hold our hands, close our eyes, and bow our heads. Can you do that with us as we pray this morning? When it's time to pray, I bend my knees. for this wonderful Sabbath day. I thank you for all these boys and girls that they can come and join us in our Sabbath school. We invite you to be here with us, Jesus, and your angels too. Thank you, Jesus, for coming, and we love you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Amen. Every week, we study our Sabbath school lessons at home, don't we? And our Sabbath school lessons come from a very special book. Do you know what that book is? What is it, Roman? The Bible. It's the Bible. I have a real little Bible here. Roman has a pretend little Bible, and inside it has lots of pictures. This is God's word to us, and it is very, very special. So as we learn our lessons every week from the Bible, we should be thanking God for his word. It's his special word just for us. Shall we sing our Bible song, the B-I-B-L-E? Let's sing it together as you look at your little Bible. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the word for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Obeying. Can you say it with me this week? 
Obey the voice of the Lord. Obey the voice of the Lord. Your God. Your God. Deuteronomy. De Deuteronomy. 27.10. I'm so glad you're learning your memory verses, boys and girls. Putting your God's word in your little brain is a really good thing for you to do. Let's clap our hands and sing, I'm glad I learned my memory verse. I'm glad I learned my memory verse. I'm glad I
Let's rock our babies and tell them not to cry, shall we? Joseph was a carpenter and he worked in his shop all day long building furniture I can imagine and anything that was needed that people wanted well I can imagine that little boy Jesus liked to help his daddy in the in the carpenter shop don't you think so let's help Joseph in the carpenter shop today by getting a hammer or a little saw Pretend ones, of course, and let's help in the carpenter shop, shall we? something to play with or something that they did where they had to take turns. So let's take turns this morning. Roman's going to write, then it'll be your turn, okay? I'll take turns on the tractor. I'll take turns with you. I'll take turns on the tractor. For Jesus wants me to. All right, are you done your I'm sure that Jesus also had two of something and maybe somebody else didn't have any and he wanted them to be happy too so Jesus learned to share what he had with others maybe it wasn't a horse like Roman has but maybe it was even his food maybe two pieces of bread and he saw somebody who didn't have any and he was willing to share with them so let's pretend we're sharing this morning, shall we? I have two horses and a to your dog or cat while we sing our song. and he took such gentle care of them. Let's gently pet our kitty cats while we sing. Little Jesus liked to pet the kitty cats, the kitty cats, the kitty cats. Little Jesus liked to pet the kitty cats when he was a child. Do you hear the bird that's a beautiful sound, isn't it? I love to hear the birdies sing, and I'll bet Jesus did too. Shall we pretend we're birds today? 
and sing along while we flap our wings and fly around like a birdie? Okay, let's do it. Little Jesus like to hear the birdies sing. I can imagine that Jesus liked to sing too, don't you? I think so. When we sing, it somehow makes us happy, doesn't it? It lifts our spirits. So we're not only going to sing, we're going to play some instruments. So if you have some instruments, even if you have an oatmeal can that you can pound on, let's make some joyful noise to Jesus as we sing, shall we? Not only did little Jesus learn to sing, but I'm sure that little Jesus learned to pray too, didn't he? He loved to pray to his Father in heaven. And what do we do when we pray, Roman? How can we pray? We can kneel, we can bow our head, fold our hands, and close our eyes. Let's do that while we sing this time, shall we? Jesus, I am sure he loved going to the synagogue, which is what they called church back in those days, with his mom and dad on Sabbath mornings. And before he would go at his home, I'm sure he studied the scriptures. His mommy taught him from the scripture scrolls, just like your mommy and daddy teach you from the Bible. So Jesus would go every week as he would go to the synagogue and he would see the priest there or the rabbis reading from the scrolls. And as he got older, he went to the temple in Jerusalem with his mom and dad. And he had learned the scripture scrolls so well that he was able to talk with the very learned men there in the temple. Let's take our little scrolls and let's sing this morning about Jesus in the temple. Jesus loved it too. Let's clap our hands this morning and sing Sabbath is a happy day, shall we? Sabbath is a happy day. having Jesus in their home made their home very happy. Just like your mom and dad are so happy that you're in their family. Let's sing this morning about with Jesus in our family. We have such a happy home, right? Let's sing together. With Jesus in the family, happy, happy home. Jesus made his home such a happy place to be in, and he was happy all the time. 
He was never pouting, was he? And do you know, he's happy even now and he loves us so, so much. And I want to show my love for Jesus too, don't you? Let's bring our hearts this morning and give them to Jesus. Jesus loves me. to our Bible lesson. Let's get some wiggles out, shall we? Can you stand up tall like with me and with Roman? And let's do some actions together. I can stand up tall like this, like this. So I can stand up tall for Jesus made me that way. Can you swing your arms? I can swing my arms like this, like this. So I can swing my arms for Jesus made me that way. Can you march? I can march around for this week. Our Bible lesson is a special one this time. It's about Adam and Eve when God first made them. Do you remember how God made Adam and Eve on the sixth day of creation? Here they are in the garden with Jesus. Oh, how they loved their new home. They would spend time with Jesus every day when he would come in the evening and they would walk with him and talk with him. They also had a lovely home. There was green grass, beautiful trees, animals of all kinds, monkeys and giraffes, donkeys and horses and kitty cats and puppy dogs. They had a wonderful life in their garden home together. In that garden home, there were two special trees. One tree was the tree of life. And from that tree, they could eat all that they wanted to at any time. But there was another tree that Jesus told them, you see that tree? Don't go near that tree. In fact, stay very far away from that tree because that tree is a tree where Satan will live. The enemy, he is in that tree. Don't go there. Do you remember how Satan was sent to the earth? He had been a beautiful angel up in heaven where he was loved and respected by the other angels. But one day, Satan let evil into his heart. His name had been Lucifer. But oh, he was jealous of Jesus. He wanted to do what Jesus was doing. And Lucifer, because he had that sin in his heart and he did not want to let it go, he had to leave heaven. And Jesus sent him and all of Lucifer's friends that had joined him down to this world, to our earth. And he had told him, he could stay in that garden, but he had to be in the tree. He couldn't go anywhere else in the garden. He couldn't follow Adam and Eve around. So there, 
that was the tree where Satan was living. But he didn't look like an angel then. Do you know what he looked like? Well, let's find out. One day, Eve walked to the garden, and she was supposed to stay with Adam, but she left him that day, and she walked over to where that special tree was. Oh, and she looked at all that beautiful fruit, and she said, oh, that looks so good, but I know God said to stay away from this tree. And maybe just as she was about to turn and leave, she heard a voice coming from the tree. And the voice said, Oh, Eve, this fruit is delicious. And when Eve turned around and looked, do you know what she saw in the tree? She saw a snake in the tree. Now, boys and girls, we think snakes are pretty ugly nowadays, don't we? They're kind of yucky and disgusting. But back then in the Garden of Eden, those snakes were beautiful. They had so many glistening colors and maybe they even had wings. They were beautiful creatures, one of the most beautiful in the garden. And it took Eve by surprise because she saw that that snake was talking to her. How could that snake be talking to her? So she went a little closer to that snake. And that snake said, oh, Eve, don't listen to what God said. You won't die. Look, I'm eating this fruit. And the snake took a bite out of that fruit. And I'm not dying. In fact, Eve, I feel really good. And I'll bet if you had some too, you would like it. Jesus just doesn't want you to have this fruit. Was he telling the truth? No, Satan was lying to her, just like he lies to us now, boys and girls. He said, you eat this fruit, Eve. It will make you wise. You'll be smart, just like God. Oh, what should she do? The snake certainly looked like he wasn't being hurt. And Jesus had said that the day they ate of it, they would die. And the snake wasn't dying. So what did Eve do? Eve took a piece of that fruit. Now, we don't know what kind of fruit it really was. We think maybe an apple, because apples are so delicious. But maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was something like a mango. Maybe it was not a kind of fruit we have at all, but it was delicious. And when Eve took that fruit and took a bite out of it, why, she did feel different. She did feel good. She did feel wise. So she gathered more fruit and she ran to Adam and she said, Adam, you eat some of this. This is really good. Oh, and Adam took it and Adam ate it too. Oh, boys and girls, is it good when we disobey? No. Do we feel good when we disobey our moms and dads or grandparents? No, that doesn't make us feel good. And it doesn't feel, make us feel good when we disobey Jesus either. That's why God tells us to obey to listen to your mom and dad, to do what they say, because his way is a happy way, but our way and Satan's way is not a happy way. It's an unhappy way, and it always ends in trouble. So let's say our memory verse this morning. We're going to finish our story, I think, next week. There may be one more picture here. Let's see. Nope, that is the end. I only had that one picture for you to see. But here is our memory verse. And we did it earlier on, but let's say it one more time. I'll say it and you say it after me. Obey the voice of the Lord your God. Obey the voice 
of the Lord your God. Deuteronomy, can you say that? Deuteronomy 27.10. 27.10. Let's always obey God's voice, shall we? Let's bow our heads and ask Jesus to help us to obey. Dear Jesus, we thank you that you teach us and that you show us in your word the things to do that will make us the happiest. Help us to learn to obey not only our moms and dads and our grandparents, but may we learn to obey you when you talk to our hearts too. We love you, Jesus, and thank you for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. We've had a wonderful time with you this week, boys and girls. And we're going to miss you until we see you again next Sabbath. So let's say goodbye to each other, shall we? Our Sabbath song.